Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and I hope you'll join me as we take a look at Kamen Rider the Second, Kamen Rider 2, Hopper number 2 from Kamen Rider the First. This immortal man invaded my desk from the secret headquarters of HLJ. And at this point, I've said so much about these the first and the next moles, there's not a whole lot to add. There are no surprises here. This is the modern movie remade Ichimonji suit from the first. It also sports a clean helmet and poignant green, as well as some shocker logos on his knuckles and back, since this is from the film where he started off as a bad guy. The most important thing I can show you is what he looks like in comparison to his original release from Kamen Rider the Next. As you can see, they are nearly completely identical! The only different components are the cracked helmet versus the clean helmet, but otherwise, the next version is simply dulled in every way. His green is slightly faded. He's scuffed and dirty, his ass caught is a little bit darker. His compound eyes are maybe slightly darker, only they really aren't. It's almost impossible to tell the difference in the greens unless you've actually got these figures next to each other, to be honest. Oh, and the next version doesn't have his Shocker logos. I'm sure this actually fits into the unstated canon of the movie-verse these guys come from. Like, the reason why there were so many more differences on Takeshi is because maybe he was upgraded while Ichimanji was left to his own devices, slowly withering away in the same cyborg body he had since the first movie. Then again, neither movie made that very clear, did they? So all that aside, on a toy buying level, it's really hard to say that you'd actually need more than one of these. And just in case you still do need to see it, this guy's posability is everything you expect out of the Fig Arts body, at least the early version of the Fig Arts body that this guy is. As I said with the uh, review of Kamen Rider 1, uh, this guy has got maybe a few more gaps in his sculpt as the Fig Arts uh, engineering has advanced since this guy came out. Um, that's really about it, otherwise everything's tight. Maybe he actually feels a little bit tighter than the 2008 releases, although that could just be because they are from that many years ago, and this guy is from 2010. Um, but it's it's a, a solid Fig Arts body, it's still got all its die cast, you don't have to worry about the whole debacle that was going on with the ankles a couple months ago, and if you want a poseable Kamen Rider 2, this will work! As for his accessories, they are exactly the same as the ones that he came with in his The Next version, which are almost exactly the same as the ones that you get with any version of Kamen Rider 1. You've seen them before if you've seen any of the videos I've done on these guys. Why would you want to pick up this version of Hayato? Basically, he's the non-battle damaged version. His green is barely different enough from The Next version to warrant a ton of scrutiny, so that's not really a factor. Since he's the newer version, he may be easier to find than that one, though. If you aren't picky and just want the mold and or character, grab whichever one you can find for the lowest price and the least amount of trouble. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and that does it for Kamen Rider the First's Fig Arts selections. With the double riders united, I don't think anything can stand in their way. Except for maybe... superior numbers.